Man. <laughs> y'all, I was talking about y'all want that equal opportunity. So, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me tell you something. Can you do this for me? Ice me out. Ice me out. Ice Hey, you guys. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you are not, please hit that like button and, you know, leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button or hit the dislike, however you're feeling. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some on here since we're talking about the queen, the kingdom, and you know how those fans be. If you're not eating her ass, you absolutely wrong. <clears throat> Let me relax. Some of them got some sense. You know what I'm saying? Some of them can actually sit there and debate instead of just being like, she got money, she got plaques, her net worth, da da da. All the shit that we're not really talking about. But nonetheless, um, hey, how y'all doing? So the Grammys happened. You know what I'm saying? I didn't watch the show, but I did watch clips from it. Um, I wrote uh I congratulated Cardi in her post, um, for her winning the um best rap album for females, and um or her being the first female rapper solo. Because I know there was Lauren Hill, but that was with the Fugees. We're talking about solo. Um, the best, you know, you know, best rap album for female solo. Boom. And um, for her making history, you know what I'm saying? I liked her performance. Um, I did watch that clip. I watched a couple other people's performances. Um, Diana Ross. Hey, Diana. Uh, Michelle Obama. Oh, my God. It was just, a, it was a good night for, uh, for women of color. I will say that much. Um, and with that being said, um, and that's surprising coming from the Grammys. Now there's, you get some right and you get some wrong because I sure didn't watch and I don't want to watch J-Lo doing the Motown tribute. I don't want to watch that shit. But with that being said, I seen some people talking about that. <laughs> um, unanimously, the, uh, that was a thumbs down, but you know, like I said, we're not going to really discuss that. She's still cute and everything, but I, I, I don't know. They could have did better with that. Um, and I, I, I think they know what they're doing. But nonetheless, we're not going to really discuss it. Um, now, I do want to discuss um, the whole situation with BET and Nicki Minaj. Um, so, with that being said, um, I don't know if it was one of the interns. I don't know what happened. But somebody got a hold of BET account and added Nicki in a response comment to a post that was congratulating Cardi on her Grammy. And it said... Um, Meanwhile, somewhere, Nicki Minaj is pulling out her lace front or something like that. And I thought that was disrespectful. I thought it was distasteful. I know I've been critical of Nicki Minaj and other artists in the past on this channel. That's, that's how I am. I don't care. Especially if I used to like you or had some type of respect for you and I did used to like her. So I definitely do hold her to a high standard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when it comes to this music stuff, you know what I'm saying? The beefing and stuff. Um, but when, when right is right and wrong is wrong, I always call that out. And that was wrong, whoever did post that. Yeah, I'm not gonna blame the whole corporation for one person's tweet, whatever. Um, tweet or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying, that was wrong at the end of the day. And I will give her props for standing up for herself and saying, well, Young Money is not performing. And she did it simple, to the point, and it was mature. She didn't do no going back and forth. There wasn't no cussing. No suck my dick, none of that immature shit that she's been doing, that she was doing in 2018 and 2017. So I will give her that. That was very grown of her. She simply said, we, we won't be performing um, at the awards or the experience. So good for her. You have respect for yourself. You don't let people walk over you. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely what you're supposed to do. And um, I seen her writing back at a fan about getting a refund. She said, yes, exactly. Get your refunds. Now, with that being said, they were wrong, 100%. I will, I will give her that. Now, I have to also address some of the bullshit that's going on in the comments and some of the feedback that's going on and how some of this circles back to Nikki. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, the first thing, the whole black woman thing, this happens every time somebody comes at Nicki Minaj. It's the first thing her fans bring up. It's bullshit. And let me, t let me tell you why. She herself, just off the top of my head, did it on her. And stupid hoe, these nappy headed hoes, uh, these nappy headed hoes need a permanator. These nappy headed hoes, but my kitchen good. Look, bubbles, go back to your habitat. She's referring to little Kim, who is another black woman. Yes, she did this, the whole skin thing. We're not here to talk about that. Uh, that's a, another thing for another video. But with that being said, she called another black woman a monkey. You know what I'm saying? On a record. Now, I understand there are some black foreign people who, you know, titles like monkey and roach and stuff like that that are sensitive in African-American culture are not sensitive in theirs. But you did that on a public record. You know what I'm saying? And now you want to cry black woman uh, 
trying to tear down a black woman. That's some bullshit to me. That is bullshit. Especially when you have beef with mostly black women. You know what I'm saying? Women of color. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I do have to call bullshit on there with her fans coming from with that because they do this every time. They do this every time. Even if she throws herself into some problem. It's always, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not with that. Not every attack on you is attack on your black, is an attack on your blackness. As conscious as I am, I, I am a firm believer in that. Somebody can just not like you or have an issue with you because you maybe you have a nasty fucking attitude. Or they just might not like you. It may not have nothing to do with the fact that you're black. So I do believe that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know me. I love to call out white people. And, and I love to call out racism when I see it. But that, to me, that particular, ooh, excuse me instance is bullshit and um or that particular um comment that they love to hang on to all the time especially when they sat here and called Remy Ma a gorilla and an ape and a monkey uh after she thrown on it nah we, we I'm not flying with that um let's see and then um so yeah there's that another thing is like the, the internet, we can stop with this whole the internet is pitting them two against each other. They they pit themselves against each other. Both of them together. Cardi and Nikki. They, they did that. In the beginning I could see where people was coming from. People wanted to, you know, put them against each other. However, after motorsport, that, that or after the planning of motorsport happened, started, that became their own situation for them. Cardi tried to handle it maturely for the, for the, a year and a half. Nikki wanted to throw them subliminals in themselves. It exploded. Cardi threw the shoe at her. Well, I mean, back and forth is all, you know, shots in interviews, shots in BET, or um, acceptance speeches, um, Instagram lives, Queen Radio, shoe thrown, and, and then the whole blow up on Instagram, the 10 clips of Cardi. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a mess. But with that being said, and now we're here. You know what I'm saying? At best, I expect, and if anything, if possible to be cordial to each other but it's it's not gonna ever you know what i'm saying they, they've had problems now so people are always going to be like oh well you know cardi's mad oh you know nikki's mad at da, 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 da. and then especially the fact that Nicki minaj is the one who puts so much emphasis on these awards so yes when another female rapper wins an award especially if they've had an issue with nikki before or nikki has had an issue with them you damn right people are going to rub it in her face and say Oh, to be the queen of rap, you got to get plaques, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? So her fans can't be mad at that. That you, If you're a fan of Nicki and you are upset about that, um, you can't be mad at that because that's, that's what she does. She bases success off your records, how much money you make, the Grammys, uh, award shows like that. So it is what it is. She kind of set that president to be there. You know what I'm saying? People would have done it anyways, but the magnitude of how it's being spun, the magnitude, the fact that you just go under the comments and it's just like, y'all know Nikki mad somewhere. Somebody go check on her. I can't with some of these people. But nonetheless, she, she did that to herself. You, when you base your career off that and then you don't get that and another artist who has been around long, shorter than you has gotten that, of course people are going to say something. That, that's kind of on you. So I have to kind of put the earnest on her for that because that's what she's based her career on. All these plaques, all these platinum plaques, da da da. This and the other. Um, I still don't think the pitting of the two against them at this point. It, I, 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 I mean, I don't even know. That whole situation is exhausting in and of itself just to think about it. But nonetheless, moving on from there. So those are two things I wanted to call out. Another thing that I have to call out is you do have a lot of people, even not even just Nicki Minaj fans, but just regular people, trying to make um, illogical comments about Cardi winning because she didn't write the album. Um, and people are trying to make jokes like her ghostwriter wrote it or whatever, or her ghostwriter got the Grammy or whatever the situation may be. Um, so with that being said, and I've talked about this before. I've addressed it on my Instagram. I've addressed it on here, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go through on live screen recording and go through title. And I'm going to go through Cardi B's Invasion of Privacy, Nicki Minaj's Queen album. Not only am I going to go through her Queen album, I'm going to go through a couple other of the quote-unquote top fives, um, the M&Ms, the Snoop Dogs, 
And I'm going to show you that all these artists have writers, co-writers, not ghost writers. Ghost writers are not known. We would not know that you had that writer if it was a ghost writer. Cardi has said on stage, she has co-writers. So with that being said, she is not the only artist. If we're going to keep that energy for Cardi, we need to keep it for everybody. And especially the thing with the situation that irritates me is it doesn't fucking matter. But at the end of the day, the way that Nicki Minaj talks, you would think she is the only writer listed under these raps. She is not. She is not. She has had help from Safari, too. He is listed under one of the songs. I also did that and showed y'all that in the recording. So I don't know why she lies about it. It doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. All these rappers, including your top fives. Tupac. I did Tupac's thing. He has writers on some of his songs. On all of his songs. I didn't see one song. The one person whose song thing that I went through and I seen majority, they wrote their shit, was Papoose. That's it. That's it. So with that being said, I'm going to go through. And um, on this next clip, which is the screen recording, and we're going to go through and nip this in the bud for once and for all. And then I will come back. All right. Hey, you guys, I'm back. So I told y'all we're going to go through this because I, y'all know I got to bring receipts. OK, so Cardi B invasion of privacy for everybody making jokes. Oh, she didn't write that. OK, boom. Get up 10. First song. Belkalee's Armands are right there. Drip, drip. Belkalee's Armands are. Big and head. Belkalee's Armands are. Bodak Yellow. Belkalee's Armands are. Oop, my bad. Be careful. Belkalee's Armands are. Plus, that one might have a lot of writers on it because you know the, the samples and stuff. Sometimes you have to credit the uh, people for the sample or whatever. Um, Belkalee's Armands are. Best life. I like it. Belkalee's Armands are. Kaylani with Ring. Belkalee's Armands are. Money Bay. Belkalee's Armands are. Bartier Cardi. Belkalee's Armands are. She Bay. Belkalee's Armands are. Through Your Phone. Which, by the way, is a pretty song. Belkalee's Armands are. And I do. Belkalee's Armands are. So with that being said, she's listed all over the album. So anybody saying that she didn't write any of it, you're wrong. That's, that's submitted from her record label. So with that being said, let's go to Fast Forward. Oh, there's Nicki Minaj right there in Motorsport, but we're not even going to that one. We can go straight to her thing. Nicki Minaj, Queen album. Ganja Burns. Where's the writers at? God damn it. Where the fuck? Okay. There you go right there. She is not the only person listed as the writer. Majesty. She's not the only person listed. Barbie Dreams. She's not the only person listed. Rich Sex. Not the only person listed. And there's more than just, uh, there's only Lil Wayne on that song. So there's still more than just him on there. Hard White. She ain't the only one listed. Bed. She is not the only one listed. So y'all are getting the point of this. She's not the only one listed here. She's not the only one listed there. She got a lot of songs on this album, so I'm not going to go through and do all this because, look, we just going to look. Boom, there. Okay, that's good. She only got two writers on Well, just her and Jeremy Reed on chun -Li. LLC, Good Form. So are you getting the point of what I'm saying? None of these. I am going to go through and scroll through all of them because you know what, Barb, they'll, they'll swear up and down. Oh, you didn't go through the whole album. So let's go through the whole album. So far, she is not the only writer listed on none of this shit. Now, I will say that she does, for the most part, have less writers than Cardi B did on her album. However, she should. She's uh been in the game way longer than her. You know what I'm saying? That's Cardi B's first album. She had two mixtapes prior to and the, whatever song she was featured on. That's not a lot. Um, in fact, Nicki's had more practice than that. Nicki had three mixtapes. And then actually maybe four, because I know she had that unreleased mixtape that leaked like maybe some year in 2013 or whatever. That was a good song, whichever one it was. Dear Wayne, if this should ever get to you, y'all y'all know which song it is if y'all a fan of her. Um, that was a nice song. With that being said, let's hit pink print real quick. All things go. She ain't the only one listed. I lied. She is not the only one listed. The crying game. She not the only one listed. Get on your knees. She not the only one listed. Feeling myself. She ain't the only one listed. Only. She ain't the only one listed. 
I want some more. She's not the only one listed. Four door Ventador. She ain't the only one listed. Favorite. Not the only one listed. By heart. Not the only one listed. Trinity them girls. Not the only one listed. That one actually does have a lot of writers on it. Um, Anaconda. Not the only one listed. So with that being said, she is she is, she is not the only one listed. And then real quick, so we can go ahead and silence this too. Pink Friday. I just need one of them because I'm tired of this shit. This back and forth shit. Safari Samuels, composer, lyricist. All right, so he helped her write her shit. I don't understand why she lies about that. It really don't matter. Like, And that's the thing that I'm getting at with this. It does not matter. And just so, you know, y'all can't be like, oh, you just picking and choosing. Nah, let's go. Papoose, let's see. Now, he writes his stuff. He got two writers there. We got one there. He got three there. He overall writes his stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, Pat Poos could, if somebody tries to say anything about that, you, you would be wrong. You would be wrong. You would look come off looking stupid. Let's find somebody. Snoop Dogg. Well-respected legend. Because I've noticed that people only do this with the females when they drop some fire or whatever the fuck. But nonetheless, um, plenty of these males got writers. All right, let's see. This is Snoop Dogg, his album, Documentary. All right, there's two artists on there. There's, how many, oh, that's not the writer's rate. God damn it. Composers, five. So that's more than just Snoop Dogg and whoever's on his own, Bootsy Collins. One song, Snoop Dogg. It got about 12, 12 or so writers on it. One, two, three, four, five. God damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eleven. See, so see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? It really doesn't matter. Everybody gets help for the most part. Everybody almost for the most part. I ain't going to say everybody because I know I don't. And I can go to my shit in a second. But you see what I'm saying? So Cardi B is not the only person. That's Snoop Dogg. Very well respected. Hell, Tupac. For crying out loud. Let's see, the best of Tupac. That's his song. Just, just him on that song, right? Oh, my bad. He got four writers on there. Well, him and two or three other writers. And that's, like I said, it's not a thing of, oh, uh, it's not a thing of, oh, that makes you any less of an artist or this, that, and the other. My thing is, my whole issue with that claim is you're, you're, you're sitting there and you got people who are claiming they write all this stuff, like Nikki, for instance. She has made that a thing. And it's not true. You're making it look as if you write all of your stuff. And as I just went through her album, she don't. But look, Tupac didn't even. He had help. It doesn't fucking matter. Hell, Eminem helped write that song. Marshall Mathers. Eminem got writers too. Shit. Give me a second. Um, What the hell? Oh, I thought I... um. Thought I looked him up the other day for one of them songs. But with that being said, Kamikaze. Oh, look, the ring of first song. Five other writers. Greatest. How many composers on this shit? Now, with that being said, that don't make you no more or no less of an artist. It does. It is impressive if you can write all your shit. But as you see, and this is Eminem, one of y'all, one person who y'all consider to be, a lot of people consider to be one of the greatest around. Some of y'all got that white hype going on, but nonetheless, um, writer after writer, I don't see one song yet where it's just Eminem as a composer. So with that being said, Cardi B is not the only person out here with motherfucking writers. Now, it is great if your shit can look like this. It is amazing if your shit can look like this. But Nicki Minaj does not. So y'all need to stop saying that shit. You're lying. You're not telling the truth. You're not telling the truth. She's not the only composers on those songs. That doesn't mean that her pen game whack. That don't mean none of that. Now, I do feel just personally, me, myself, and I, I feel as, you know, when Safari left, something changed. And you know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. Um, I ain't saying that he wrote all her stuff. Nobody's saying that. Like, you could be in there for a whole line. You could be in there for a hook. Who knows? We don't, I don't really know the, 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 the logistics of how those percentages go. Because as y'all seen, just by when I showed y'all my EP, I don't need to know. I, I will forever and always aim to be an artist should my career uh, uh, propel, like I hope it does. I will always aim to be an artist that writes all my stuff, whether it's R&B 
or rap, hip hop, whatever the genre is. But with that being said, as I just showed y'all, a lot of people in this business use writers. It doesn't motherfucking matter. It doesn't discredit you. Now, if you're just not listening on a song, that's one thing. But I showed y'all, Cardi B is listening on all 13 of those songs. So can we kill this noise, please, about this damn writer shit, ghost writer, co-writer? It don't fucking matter. It really don't. It don't. Some of y'all people do not have that same energy for Drake. Y'all ain't going to have it for, like like I just showed y'all, Eminem. Y'all ain't going to keep it for them. You ain't going to say that shit to Snoop Dogg. That's my thing. Nikki is not going to go at a Snoop Dogg or Eminem for having multiple writers on this shit. Right? So what's the fucking point? What's the fucking point? But with that being said, let me get back to the video now. Thank y'all. All right. So y'all just seen that video. As I told y'all, those are inputted by the record labels. If they independent, I guess they do it. They team, whoever. Those are writers. Almost all them artists have writers. Even Papoose, he had a couple on a couple songs. Overall, though, he wrote the most of that um, most of that mixtape album. I can't remember if it was an album or mixtape. But he wrote most of that project on his own. You know what I'm saying? So he can stand on stage and say, if Papoose spit, Papoose wrote it. Nicki Minaj cannot. Now, she does have less writers than Cardi, I would, as I said that in the video. However, she should. That's her fourth album versus Cardi's first album. You know what I'm saying? Um, and she's also had more practice in the mixtapes, as I pointed out. Because um, she had three or four, and then Cardi B had two. So, um, yeah. With that being said... Um, Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. With that being said, that, sh that should kill that noise let's mer in this nonsense. Because I'm, I'm really tired of that that standpoint of argument. It's very annoying. It's very annoying when people pick and choose. Like, this whole thing happened. If that's the case, then Meek should have won in the Meek versus Drake beef. If that's the case. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, I ain't seen Meek Mill's writer, so I don't know if he write all his shit by himself. But um, I do, I think the On Me song, when I was looking at the lyrics, I think at the end it said just him and um, Cardi B, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know about his other projects. But with that being said, it actually wouldn't even matter because he was calling out Drake for using ghostwriters. He wasn't calling Drake out for using co-writers. So with that being said, that's the correct way you translate that situation. You know what I'm saying? He was just talking about ghostwriters. Uh, people are sounding dumb when they when they say that she has ghostwriters because we, we know these people are here. You can see them. You can see them. <laughs> you can find them. You know what I'm saying? And eventually maybe she'll get on her own to where she can write the songs on her own. I know her last song, Money, that she just put out, it only has one writer on it. So um, that's good. You know, you get better with the time. But overall, it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. My only thing is, and the only reason I went through and did all that is... The people that are making these claims themselves don't when don't have their shit looking like mine. Like it doesn't look like mine. You you have writers too, Nikki. So I'm not understanding that point of contention that you're having. I'm not understanding that. And her fans, like y'all are not. You can find this stuff. It's on the internet. So the point in saying or making it look like you write all your stuff solely is not. It's just not true. I don't understand. But nonetheless. Um, with the BET situation, I'm on her side on that. That was not cool. She was over minding her business, uh, chilling with Mr. Petty. And you know what I'm saying? She was over there minding her business. Um, that was unnecessary. So, on that note, um, y'all let me know what y'all thought about the situation down below. You know what I'm saying? And, um... You know what I'm saying? I don't know if necessarily I feel like there's an attack on Nikki. I don't do the whole hate train shit because I, I believe some of that shit is, a lot of that shit is karma for the way that she's done rappers. The fact that she's, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't think on all those songs she was subliminally dissing nobody, she still didn't reach out to any female rappers and, you know, give, give that good energy and good vibe out and put them on the track with her or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then when she finally did, that Foxy Brown shit was trash. I don't care what nobody says. It was god awful. Um, but with that being said, um, some of it is karma. And I don't know if... Um, I don't know if people in this... If the industry is trying to get rid of her or if people just... I know people do want a new face, which did help Cardi B in the way that she's relatable and people wanted a new face for female hip-hop. Because we've seen Nicki for so damn long. Um, but with that being said, I, I, I wouldn't call it necessary. I, I don't know. I don't know how to feel. The whole situation is kind of weird. But, you know, like I said, right is right, wrong is wrong. 
whoever um, runs the BET account needs to keep, um, whoever's winning over there, they need to keep a tighter hold on who has access to the account because that was completely wrong. It was unnecessary. I will, you know, stand up for people when right is right. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? Wrong is wrong, and that was wrong. With, with that being said, y'all let me know down low what y'all think about the situation. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you think Nicki Minaj made the right choice? I know I do. At the end of the day, you respect yourself. You have self-respect for yourself. You don't let people walk over you like that and then still go to their shit and bring people to their shit. Now, I'm going to be honest, it's BET, and I did see a lot of her fans, again, making anti-black comments, like calling it EBT and this, that, and the other, which, I mean, to be honest, some black people do that themselves. But, you know what I'm saying, we don't appreciate the shit that we do have, and we want more. It doesn't make sense. But nonetheless, I seen how some of her fans making some anti-black comments like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think that's right. But nonetheless, um, at the end of the day, she stood up for herself. So I'll give her that. Um, hopefully this video, um, with the people that have seen it, we can kill this writing, this um, co-writer, ghost writer noise. Because as y'all seen, all the writers for her album are listed. So they're no longer ghost writers. And then as y'all seen, I pulled up Eminem and Tupac, some, some, some of y'all's great top fives. And they have writers too. So with that being said... Hopefully that kills all that noise. It really doesn't fucking matter. Like I said, if you write all your stuff, that's great. Um, but it doesn't matter. People care about the finished product. At the end of the day, y'all let me know if y'all agree with me on that or not. And I will catch y'all on the next video. Peace.